Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classic Clown Blog. I just had to tell you something that's cracking me up. People are getting arrested, losing their jobs, because of the stupid stuff they're putting on social media. And I'm super glad for it. I'm absolutely super glad. I'm just finished reading about three or four uh, newspaper articles about people who have been saying racist things, people who threaten a police officer in Kansas, threaten a five-year-old girl in Texas, told a woman he'd kill her daughter. So yeah, by the time they investigated who it was, realized it was a police officer in Kansas, Kansas police goes, this crazy retardo, and fires him. Uh, a couple real estate agents were on there saying something crazy. A couple people were doing ridiculousness. There's a girl on Twitter who everybody thinks is an FBI agent. It's pretty funny. But she literally comes up with your name, your address, your job, your personal stuff. And people don't realize, nine times out of ten, you put a lot of this stuff on Facebook. People screenshot the craziness you're saying, and then they go Google you. And if possible, they call your job. And on top of that, calling your job, they try to get you fired. And they try to get you arrested. People. Stay off social media if you're going to be that stupid. If you want to say racist stuff, if you want to threaten people's five-year-old children, if you want to do things that make no sense, realize the internet has become really tech-savvy. Really, really, really tech-savvy. And people can find out things about you. People can Google things about you. And it just doesn't pay to be out there saying something stupid. We all know people who lost a job or got fired because they were drinking or partying or just doing something outrageous somewhere in public and it was caught on tape. Don't let that be you. Even if you own your own business. There was the, the guy saying something about black people and he had a freaking shop in the middle of a black neighborhood and a car wash in Houston. Dude, of course your stuff is gonna get vandalized and endangered and things tore up and people boycotting your business. This isn't smart, okay? If you're upset about something, tell your family and friends, stay off social media. And if you're stupid enough to say it on social media, great. I mean, this one guy literally was calling this woman the N-word and saying how he shoot her. And literally the woman turned around and said, oh, here's your name and the address of your house. She didn't put the number. She was kind enough not to put the first numbers. But she literally put the street his house was on, the city where he lived in Texas, and was like, yo, I see your wife is pregnant and your baby's due in September. Isn't that nice? The guy freaks out and is like, please take it off social media, please. Dude. Don't put yourself in a position where you're begging on social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, for someone not to post your home and address and your information. Don't do it. If you have these stupid ass, racist thoughts, dumb thoughts, keep them to yourself. This is Erica, out.